All right, guys, Mr. Bellion here. I'm back. I'm going to press Command-0 just to zoom in on the page. And I'm just going to take um, basically what we learned very simply and apply the two uh, the things together, okay? So let's see. Let's go to this fourth page, and I'm here. And I'm going to take a simple shape. Let's say, let's say it's an ellipse tool, okay? And again, you recall if I said if you want to create a circle, hold Shift. There it is. Done. And we can change that color immediately because it is still selected. All right. So I'm going to, as soon as I finish a tool, I said always, always go to your arrow tool, okay, which is selection tool V. And again, to duplicate, I'm holding, um, let's say, Option or Alt on a Windows. Done. At this point, uh, I'm also going to create a square or a rectangle. Okay. And I think that's pretty cool. Actually, just make a rectangle. It does not matter what it looks like. All right, there it is, and let's resize this. There's a lot of things I haven't shown you guys about the white arrow tool yet. That's kind of fun too. We're going to get to that. Um, keeping it simple, and we're going to work from there. All right, so let's bring some letters in, okay? So, um, A, B. Let's do that. Let me change the white. I don't want it to be white. I want it to be, uh, sorry, I don't want it to be red. I'd like it to be white. That's right. Uh, let's type in here. Uh, I lost my tool. I'll tell you exactly what happened here. Uh, we changed this color to white, so <laughs> let's forget about that. Let's change it to something else. It's done. And again, select out. Even I can make these kind of mistakes. Not a problem. We know how to solve them. Okay, again, click out. Make sure the circle is not selected. Text is on its own, Mr. Bellion. There we go. Uh, what am I assuming? A and B, right? All right. So, there it is. A and B, done. And I'm going to press Option again. And I'm going to bring the same thing down here, A and B. Okay? Placement of text is important, right? You can have it in the center, down at the bottom, left, right, justified, and so on. Even off the page, which is kind of cool. Let's work on that idea of off the page, okay? So I'm going to duplicate this A, B one more time and bring it over here. And again, off the page in this situation is kind of weird because one organic shape over another. That's done. And we'll duplicate it as well one more time over here. All right, so let me, I'm going to quickly change this text to white because right now black I find too strong. Look how cool that is already, right? Again here. Uh, and let me just hold shift and, and change them all. You guys know shift is multi-select and I'm just going to quickly change this to white. All right, so this is looking pretty cool. Click out. We're not seeing the underline. All that is not bad. Okay, clearly this isn't the way we're going to end up in the end, but we're basing it on our drawings and so on, right? All right, so what am I doing here? I just placed, I just basically placed my initials with a shape, which looks a lot stronger than, for example, um, just this. And again, let me change this, um, just my initials being in uh, black. Okay, so I find I use the shape. It's a little stronger, okay? So I'm encouraging everybody here to try shapes and letters based on your sketches and elevate your work to another level, okay? And again, clearly you can come in here, bring the text tool, and change the typeface, right? I can right-click, have it uppercase, lowercase, you know, uh, font. Um, I don't want to go here, but let's just pick one, okay? Um, what do I want? American typewriter. Love that. Okay, except I don't want it condensed. I just want it regular. Yes, that's cool. We'll like that. Okay, so have fun. Play around. This is stage. Uh, let's call it a stage three. We're developing our ideas. Okay, going to keep it short and sweet. Thank you. Bellion out. All right, let's see. Uh, 